Hey, welcome back. In this video, we're going to cover part two of JSF forms and drop down list. What we're going to do in this example is that we're going to enhance the previous video example. Instead of having a drop down list values hard coded in a JSF page, what we're going to do instead is read the values from a managed bean. So make the application a bit more dynamic. So let's go ahead and move into Eclipse. Again, we're going to continue with the same project as before. Hello project. I'm going to edit the file student2.java. So this is our managed bean from the previous video. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to update the managed bean to contain a list of options. So this will be the list of countries uh, that a user can select. So I'll just do an import here for the uh, type list. And so this is a list of our country options. Now, what we need to do next is populate this list with some data. So the first thing I'll do is I'll construct the list inside of the constructor. So I'll say country options equals new array list. And then I'll go through and fix the import here for array list. This is java.util.array list. And then I need to just drop in uh, the list of options here. So I'm going to drop in some code that I already have. And so I have this array list of strings and I'm going to simply add in the various countries, Brazil, France, Germany, India, and so on. Now, the next thing I need to do is actually create a getter method uh, for that list of country options. So again, I'll make use of that Eclipse trick where I'll do a right click. I'll choose source. I'll move down to generate getters and setters. And in the, in the box here, I'll um, expand the list here for country options and I'll select the option for get country options. I really only need a getter here. I don't need a setter. And then uh, as far as the placement of this uh, getter, I'll place it right after the after student two. So right after the constructor for this class. That's the actual insertion point. And then I'll hit OK. And so on lines uh, 39 down to 41, this is the new code that Eclipse just entered for us. So it's a public getter method for country options. And it's going to return the array list. I'm sorry, return the list of strings to the calling program. All right, so this looks really good right now. I'll do some quick cleanup here. And uh, great, so we're, we're in really good shape right now with this addition to the managed bean. Well, the next thing I need to do is update my form. So I need to up down the drop down list. So instead of having the hard coded values, I need to make use of that managed bean. So I'll move into the code that I had before from the previous video. And I will simply select all of the code that was hard coded and I'll actually remove it or delete it from this file. And instead what I'll do is I'll drop in um, some new code. So right now select one menu value student2.country. That's the same. This is the important line here. So here's select items plural and I have value pound curly brace student2.countryoptions. So when this page is loaded, JSF will actually call student2.getCountryOptions. So it's going to return that list of strings that we've already defined inside of that managed bean class. So this is how we can get the list of options from the managed bean as opposed to hard coding it in the JSF page. Now I just ran the application and here's the output. So we have our first name and last name. So I'll enter AJ Rao again. And then for country. So now this country drop down list is being populated by information from our managed bean. So it's no longer being hard coded in the JSF page, but it, that data is coming from our managed bean. Um, I can go ahead and hit a submit. And here we list uh, for, we list the student's country of India and that works out as desired. So in this part of it, nothing's really changed as far as the uh, confirmation page.
All right, so this looks really good. Good job. Okay, so this wraps up the video. In this video, we learned how to use JSF forms and dropdown lists. In particular, we enhanced our previous example to make use of managed beans for the form data. So instead of using the hard coded data in the JSF page, we actually had the data being pulled from a managed bean.